How we doing, everybody? This is That R Nerd, back at it again with another R tutorial. Today's tutorial is on the chi-squared uh, goodness of fit test. And so, I have a little dummy problem here. And what it says is, uh, it's about M&Ms, and we have the expected percent of each color of M&M, and we got this from the M&M website. And we also have the observed counts of M&Ms that we got from an actual pack of M&Ms, uh, which had 53 total M&Ms in there. And so what we want to do is we want to see if these expected percentages are a good fit uh, for our actual data that we got here. And we can do this within R. So we'll input a little vector here of our observed values. So we have 13 and 9. We have 7 and 4, we have 13 and 7, and that's it, we can run it. And if we look at x, we see that it was all ran in correctly here. We also need to input a vector of probabilities here, and so these are going to be in proportions, not in percents. So even though we have percents here, we need to uh, transfer them into proportions. So we'll make another vector called P, and inside P we'll put our proportions. We have 0 0.13, 0 0.13, 0 0.2, 0 0.16, 0.24, and 0.14. And then you can run that. Now it's important for these chi-squared tests that these proportions sum up to, to 1, right? Because we don't want to have any uh, over probability or leftover probability. Uh, so we do our sum of P. And our proportions add up to 1, so that's perfect. So now we can run our chi-squared test. So we call chi-sq.test, uh, chi and we'll put our x vector, and we'll say that our p is equal to p, and run it. And when we run that, we get a chi-squared test statistic of 9.6838. We get that our degrees of freedom are equal to 5, and our p-value is equal to 0 0.08471. Uh, so, our normal threshold here is 0.05. Uh, this is bigger than that, so we'd reject our, or I guess we'd fail to reject our null. We'd say that this is a, a good fit for the data. I mean, it's an okay fit, right? 0.08, that's uh, nothing crazy. You can check our answers here. Our chi squared is supposed to be equal to 9.69, uh, which is perfect. Degrees of freedom is number of categories minus 1, which is 5. Again, perfect. And our p-value is between 5 and 10%. And our p-value is sitting here at uh, about 8%. Uh, so that's it. That's how you do a goodness of fit test. Uh, if you like this video, make sure to drop a chi-squared like on that uh, like button down there so that other people can see this video as well. If you have any suggestions for anything you want to see in the future, any other R tutorials you'd like to see, make sure to leave a comment down below. And if you'd like to see more art tutorials in general, make sure to subscribe and um, you have a great day. Thank you for your time.